Who made it to the table? You and I, of course, made it. Thank you for clicking. Thank you for coming back to support this mama right here. Your support is not taken for granted. Quick reminder hey, if you love me, you know the answer. Give me the answer, sharp, sharp. I love you back. I love you with the with the, I love you back to back, back to back. Backpackers everywhere, lazy people everywhere. You guys are too much. You. Hey, without you guys, yeah, this channel that is being investigated up and down with the attorneys and YouTube, hey, everybody is checking what is going on here. What are they saying in the comment section? The keyboard reactors, what are they doing? Are they keeping the community clean? Do we need to delete this? Do we need to delete this video and not delete this one? Eh? Guys, <laughs> you will not believe it. There's this thing on YT. If you're a content creator, you will There's know. There's this thing on YT whereby if you speak certain way, like uh, use provoking words, or how do I explain it? Or share graphic, something that is an ISO, something that will make people feel somehow. You understand? Like showing blood where animal is being slaughtered and all that and all that you guys know what i'm saying i don't want to go into details but youtube is censored like that like yt will not even allow you to monetize the content you can upload it but you won't be able to make money from it that is sad so but some people feel like they want to teach yt their job like yt don't know what they're doing probably yt is working for them we will see how it goes can we bring the backpackers here? But before we do that, you know what time it is. Hope you guys enjoy that shaking, shaking, shaking body. Hey, guys, <laughs> the love is too much. Yo. I just quickly want to say thank you to all of you guys that turned up. I saw, hey, this person is following. That person is following. Come and see love. I love you guys. What the, what the, we are waiting. Facebook is our plan B. And guess what? If we move to Facebook, guys, it will even be fun because now more audience will join Lazy Gang because Lazy Gang is like a YouTube thing. Now we will extend this gang, this gang again. Can you imagine when YT people will join Lazy Gang? How it will be? Mm. It will be fun, no? <laughs> it will be sweet. Have you grabbed something? I've got my water here. So grab your own. Open that fridge. 
Grab whatever that is grabbable. Your liquid solid food, salad, anything, anything that is there. Because we cannot do this. Of course, you know this video is freaking one hour. <laughs> no jokes. I'm not going to lie to you on this one. I don't. You know, you guys, I always keep it straight with you guys. You understand? I will not come here and be deceiving my people. For where? I they mad? I they crazy? Am I crazy or what? Guys, <laughs> today's own, where do we start? Ogamaroa is here. <laughs> hey! He has been trending. What do you expect? I knew it. We were ready for him. In fact, we prepared for him. We are ready. This is expected, Yanni. Why am I saying that? <laughs> I thought I have seen it all. During his premiere, there's this Baki Baki. You guys, if you don't know, let me just quickly let you know what this Baki Baki did to me. This Baki Baki went to the Virginia in Yabuhanze. Exposed my private numbers. Two of them. What did I do? I don't know. As I'm talking to you now, I'm still getting threats. As I'm talking to you now, I'm still getting strange phone calls. As I'm talking to you now, people are still threatening me. We know we are monitoring you. You think we don't know your location. You can't hide away from this. It's either you stop talking about the marrowers or your life is in danger. Make sure as you are doing this content that you are building also your security around you because you are being monitored. We know people. We have people around you. We know people that can deal with you. You're going to lose you this one. You're going to lose that one. They have even threatened and threatened and threatened. And all I do is I block. Guys, this my finger has suffered. This my finger. I've been blocking and blocking and blocking and blocking and blocking. I cannot count how many numbers I have blocked. The more I'm blocking, the more they are sharing my numbers. Why? Because of this Baki Baki. Guess what? Marwa officially invited Baki Baki for a collaboration. After this girl caused all this havoc that she has been causing, is she creating content? What she's doing on her channel is pure, this is pure, pure, pure hatred. Oh, I created this channel for Modesta Lifestyle. I am I'm going to defend our own. Our own is our own. It doesn't matter. We Kenyans, we must fight, we must fight, we must, fight, we must protect our own. <laughs> eh? Anywhere they are raining insult on me. She will come there and stamp in. Mm. Marowa invited her finally. She took her community and she was happy, 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 all excited. Oh, Oga, my boss, my boss summoned me to come to Abohanse. Oh, officially, this is the screenshot. This is the, of course, you know, I will never bring her onions here. The same one that brought her into this mess, two of them. That one got the lesson of her life. Again, she's building second So when your foundation is not properly done, what happens? It doesn't matter whether you have reached 100-story building. It will sweep the whole building out in no due time. If you don't have a good foundation, they have been threatening, they have been doing all sorts of things. They have been running insults, they have been abusing me of cheating on my husband, abusing me of being a witchcraft, using so many crazy, crazy... Like, you look at their thumbnails. We will never do that to Never. Just like the one that she recently did about CEO. Even her own audience, they were like, Baki Baki, it has not gotten to this stage. She just simply reacted that you are frequenting Yabuhanze so much. I said, mother, when do you have time for your child? Okay, if you want to react to that, that, oh, your child is in boarding school, why are you using such thumbnails? Why raining insult at her when she never insulted you? Like guys, except when they insult us here. Never. If there's any video I've done here, any reaction that I've done here insulting the Marwas, there's something I must attach their own insult to it. Like they would come to a live stream and insult me. Of course, they have done that together with Marwa. You know why I put Wedemaya on my thumbnail? Ordinarily. I don't have anything to react about Wodemaya, but I'm bringing Wodemaya to this table today. Why? Before I usher in other backpackers, I want to bring Wodemaya and Marwa. Officially, Wodemaya, 
If you are close to Wedemeyer, please, I'm begging you, make sure you send the link of this content to Wedemeyer. That's why I'm addressing it at the beginning of this video. He must not watch everything, but you see this path. Make sure you put the stamp and send it to Wedemeyer. Officially, Wedemeyer, Lazy Gang, we need official invitation from you for collaboration. Because it's becoming a game now. With Maya, we need invitation from you. Let me not say we, because other lazy reactors may not want to. I, I need invitation from you, with Maya. You must invite me for a collaboration in Ghana. It's up to me when I can come. Yes, with Maya must invite me. Because it's becoming a game now. You guys remember when Wodemaya gave us, me and Black Beauty, during his live stream, he just gave us a shout out, which was not even up to one minute. Oh, Modesto Lifestyle supports me. Oh, people think I'm paying these guys, they just love what I'm doing, and da da da. That was it. Marwa took it, carried it on top of his head like Gala, complaining. Oh, this guy is even supporting them. Marwa, what are you doing now? Get to call him Port Black. What exactly are you doing now? Oh, we're gonna start all over again. We're gonna open a channel for you. You're gonna open a channel for her for doing what? For attacking the reactors. And at the same time, you feel you are untouchable. We must not talk about you in a negative way. We must, we must not react on your video when other people are reacting on us, insulting us, raining insult, raining cause. On us, they 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 are they are they, they are entitled to do it. We must swallow it and act like we are not hurt. We must swallow it and act like everything is okay, guys. The guys that support this guy, they are far far like they are triple lazy gang. They are triple in numbers compared to lazy gang, like they are more than. At least I can count up to 15 reactors that back to back rain insult and attack us and support Marwa. And hear him. Oh, we are working closely to deal with him. Like he feels he owes Whitey. Hear him even bragging about it. Oh, these guys, they have protected us. Eh? Protected you by doing what? By insulting us. I don't have any problem somebody coming here reacting on my content disagreeing with me okay it's fine you don't agree with my point it's okay but why the insult why the propaganda why exposing my why bridging on my privacy why insulting me why abusing me why accusing me of doing what i didn't do why bringing problem to my marriage that's the extent that they have gone guys you guys, most of you guys witnessed it here. It's not like I'm making up stories. So, this is now a game. Maya gave us a shout out. Marua was complaining with his sister D. Oh, this is guys even supporting them. Meanwhile, Maya has never gotten to this stage, guys. Maya has never, you know, called us out. Oh, I want to see you. Oh, I'm going to help you since you lost your channel. I'm going to help you get a new channel. Oh, meet me for collaboration. Maya has never done it. Another thing that is strange here is you will never see them. If you notice, we go negative and positive. It doesn't matter. Even our own people. Like most of the times, I've done negative reaction against Maya. I don't intend to do it, but of course, we cannot come here, guys. We see blue. We call it black. As I'm talking to you now, I cannot leave comment on Maya's videos if i want to react i just take a clip and react and watch i don't feel comfortable anymore because you know what most people once they see my comment there they start attacking me oh what are you doing here you are a hypocrite meanwhile this other marwa armies they are accusing us that maya paid us to protect him so what are they doing now who are they protecting now i can no longer comment on this through this Videos. I can no longer can comment know. on Maya's videos because of what? Because of the kind of content I have done here. Because I try to do what? It doesn't matter whether I love Maya and 
what he's doing. I love his wife. I love his content. He has inspired me a lot. I've learned a lot over these years watching him. Because of that, if I see something that I feel like, oh, this shouldn't be like this in my own IMO, I shouldn't share it here, I must keep protecting him. This is what these Marwa armies are doing. You will never see them go negative on Marwa because they know that Marwa will go mad at them. They know that Marwa doesn't want to hear any truth at all from anyone. Leave him the way he is. Even if he decides to wake up in the morning, not brush his teeth, not take his bath, he's already out, had his breakfast, he's already going to see Mama Anne and uninvited and as God may have it, on reaching there, Mama Anne went to church. Another sign that he was not invited with his cup of porridge. He was there. And guess what? Mama Anne's dog. You see dogs. Once you see a dog chasing someone, normally in my country we will say that if you are chased by a dog, like you go to someone's house and the dog start getting agitated, start getting aggressive, like wants to bite you, wants to chase you, will not, don't let you come close to the place. If something like that happens, in my culture, we believe that you eat dog meat. Because actually in my culture, we don't cook with dog meat, but people drink with it. Like people that take alcohol, they prepare it like a soup and then drink their alcohol with it. Like in beer palace, that's what I mean. But you don't cook, you know the way you will make curry and all that. We don't cook good dogs like that. But people eat dogs. So if you are eating dog, the dog can smell that you eat dog meat and attack you like that. That's our belief. But not really like dog that. Can, it's not just only that. It's not Dog doesn't just attack people that eat dog meat. Dog attacks people that have bad mind. People that their intentions are not good. Once you come close to the owner, they try to protect the owner by chasing you away. That was what Mama Anne's dog actually did to Baba Marwa. Baba Marwa came there on and now thinking, oh, guys, this is the house. This The only thing he programmed on his brain is, we built this house in 10 days. But guys, can you see the condition of that house? I mean, this house is six months old. Can you see how everything is falling apart? Even the color of the paint has faded. Can you can you guys take a look at because you don't go on superficial without going in depth. How is the condition of that house you built in 10 days? How roomy is that house? The people occupying that house, where is their life now? Guys, Mama Anne came to the construction site of Marawa to sell some beans and maize. We call it beans, beans and beans and corn. It's a mixture of beans, okay? like South Africans, they call it Santa beans. Very yummy. She makes some of that. That will tell you that this woman is still not giving up. At least she wants to do something. She came there to sell to the construction workers. At least to make some money. Here, Marowa, abusing her. Saying all sorts of things. I started business for you. You did not do well. This woman had to leave out of shame. Hey! I said, God, I thought I have seen it all. Like, in his mind, he didn't contribute to the failure of that business. That's what Marwa thinks. Meanwhile, you are the number one reason that made that business not to work. Because you didn't start it well. You didn't even let this woman check what she wants to sell. You didn't even involve her when you went to buy stuff. You just, you just simply bought some food items. And dumped it in front of her house. And you call it that you started business for her. <laughs> hey! You know what? The, guys, guys, do you know the one that is paining me? Is Marwa now trying to abuse this woman. This is now verbal abuse. Verbally, he's trying to abuse this woman. You people must come to your house, invited, but you must just come with your porridge. Without even taking back, you are coming knocking, knocking, knocking at her door. Eh? We are still waiting for their attorneys. We are still waiting for their lawyers. They should freaking do it fast, fast. And if you are bringing those papers, make sure you tag your people. Those people that 
insulted us all this while. Make sure you bring them, your crew, make sure you bring them along. Baki Baki and the other one, you just opened the channel. Make sure because they are answerable to so many questions as well. And make sure you bring your younger brother that exposed my contact number and accused me wrongly. Make sure you bring all of them. Guys, can we bring other backpackers? With the Maya, I'm still very serious. So, but the Maya freaking needs to invite me for collaboration. Mm -hmm. It's a game now. I'm happy the way it's happening. Honestly. Should I, would I even talk about it? You are getting way. excited that someone came back, you were in your hands there. This person ignored, 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 ignored you until you left. You went back to your city. Very far away. Can you imagine the distance between Mombasa and Nairobi? And then think of Nairobi too, Yabohanze. Like the Kenyans, they will tell you that this Yabohanze is almost like disconnected because they are the borders. Most people from Kenya didn't know anything about this tribe until we started reacting on them. But yeah, they are Kenyans. When I was complaining that Mitua did not visit, someone was telling me that Mitua's village is actually closer to Nairobi, like four hours from Nairobi. And Yabuhanse is like hours, like how many hours? Up to eight to nine hours, I'm not sure. So they are towards the other end of Tanzania. And someone will just summon you like this, you are getting excited. Oh, <laughs> do you know the worst part of it? These ladies, they don't even know the plan. <laughs> Marwa will freaking use them the way he is using these other people for cheap level. He will freaking use them in the kitchen. Mm. Maybe their their party is coming up. Guys, let's move to other backpackers. Indian traveler. I predicted that he was gonna travel alone. He did. He made it to India. We are happy for him. Someone was asking, Burundi traveler, how can you travel all by yourself and you left your girlfriend? Can you tell us the main motive? Excuse me, they travel to grow their channels. Can't you see that his number is going up like real good? He's already sitting with 16k. Before he leaves India, for sure, he will likely double that sub count and, of course, make more money. What do you think? But one thing again I don't understand is Burundian traveler, when he was applying for this visa, come and see how him and Cloud Joseph they were describing. Of course, they didn't want to reveal their destination, which is okay. If you have a plan, you don't need to share it because some people yeah, with their bad eyes, they will come and spoil business for you. It happens so. Mm. I know some people don't believe that, but it do happen. It's, you rather share the testimony. You rather share the results than to share your plan. I don't know if I'm making sense. When you have not like executed it, when you have not like achieved it, let people see the results after. Anyways, what am I saying here? Burundian traveler, when they were applying for this visa, come and hear the way they were describing this. Oh, very difficult, very hard. Hey, the process of getting this visa is really, really tough. Him and Cloud Joseph, they were on and on and on. What came to my mind was US. Always we would think American visa, yes. From even when I was a baby, we know that word already. That to get American visa is really tough. <laughs> hey. And of course, my second one was probably Europe visa. Maybe he's applying to go to then, Europe. Again, I was thinking, probably he's applying to go to UK. I said, no. Either Europe or US, these two. Uh -huh. Guys, I don't want to look down on any country or any visa. Mm -mm -mm. This is not the intention, but the way these guys exaggerated the whole thing, <laughs> the way they were so dramatic describing this visa process, as if this visa, eh? hey, guys, especially for medical treatment, this one I know for sure as a Nigerian with Nigerian passport holder that I am, to get Indian visa is freaking not stressful. BT and Cloud Joseph, you guys should stop this drama. Why are you guys acting like you are drama? Leave drama for women now. And how can young men like you guys be this dramatic? I don't understand. I don't, you guys should leave me alone. Let me be speaking my mind here. Finally, I'm asking myself. So with all this dragging and dragging, oh, this visa is really stressful. 
Thank God, Cloud Joseph's house did like this. Cloud Joseph did like this. Oh, they are going to deny me this. They asked for so many paperwork. Oh, hey. After all said and done, I saw that he landed in India. I predicted that he was going to travel alone. He did. He left Diana came. It's expected because their own was becoming too much. I'm like, hey, hey. This one is what Nigeria has got to finish. You guys have finished the whole show now. Nothing is remaining. Eh? You guys should at least let something remain. Something that will be gingering the relationship. What is this? Eh? <laughs> um, anyway, he made it and he started complaining. I don't have a place. I'm like, before you freaking get a visa, there's hotel reservation. And you have to show proof that whatever you are going to do there, especially as a vlogger, that you freaking have enough money. You need to show them bank statement that you got enough money. Or did you borrow money and put it into your account and then printed it for the visa? You know anything is possible. Everything and everything is possible. Probably this is what he did. People actually do that, you know. They borrow money, put it in the account, print it out, then apply for visa. And once the visa is in, they give the person they borrowed the money back. But I don't get it. He ended up getting a place. There's this grandpa that stayed in Uganda, a medical doctor. Some people call him in the comment section doctor. Anyway, to me, he's a good guy. He has a good intention. But looking at BT then, even before BT started getting scared, because I have one years that I caught here that even made me to react about this baba. BT, looking at his expression, you know guys, we don't need them to talk sometimes. All we are doing is we read their words. <laughs> we read their appearance. We freaking read their expression. And he says a lot. So looking at him, you can tell that he's not really, really comfortable. That's why he kept saying, oh, very soon I'm going to move to another location. So he can't wait to get out of this place. But you know when you are looking for something free, that's why we always say nothing is free. Because the anxiety BT is having, staying with this grandpa. I'm also having the same anxiety, even though I laugh too. And I'm still going to laugh when we play it again. When I watched him, I laughed. And I'm still going to laugh again. I'm sorry. Why do I say that? BT could have done what the Marawas do. Oh, guys, I'm in this city. Please reach out to me if you want to host me. He could have done that. And he could have attracted someone that, even if he's not comfortable, but it will be better than what we're seeing now. Looking at this guy, this grandpa that calls him my child or my grandson. Actually, this guy calls BT grandson. So you, you can see the age difference. So the age gap alone... You want to be around someone, even if that person is older than you, but at least you will be able to have uh, some, how will I put it? You will be able to be free to some extent. You will be able to have comfortable, you will be able to have good communication with this person. Nice conversation, you know? And you won't feel like, oh, I feel like, you understand? <laughs> I really feel sorry for BT, guys, because BT can't wait to get out of this house, this grandpa's house. He can't wait. Forget about the title, it's looking nice. Tom, Tom there is looking nice. My grandpa in India, how I met my grandpa in India. Of course, everything is for content. What about his appearance? What about his expression? His facial expression said, said a lot. He's oozing, oozing oozing out that this guy is freaking out. This guy is not comfortable staying there. It's not matching at all. Like, it's not making sense. BT could have gotten a better person to house him, not just this grandpa. Then another thing that I don't understand that made me to overthink. Overthinking will not kill us there. You guys understand. I'm not saying that what this guy did by harboring BT is not good. Especially now that we can tell that this dude, of course, may not be able to pay for his accommodation in India. You know? <laughs> it is what it is. He came there to get some money, not to be spending. You know? <laughs> that is uh, African traveling mentality. That is, uh, their ment that is the freaking 
why he left Africa to grab some mula. So we will not expect him to start looking for accommodation, start paying. But again, I would rather stay in not too nice accommodation, but of course, safe environment, but probably in a hostel. Worst come to push. I would rather stay in a hostel than to stay in someone's house and I'm not going to be comfortable. I'm not going to be free. I'm not, I, I will feel like uh, something strange, you know. So, like I was saying, another thing that I don't understand is this grandpa is living there from the way his apartment looks. Okay? He's living there alone. At his age, how can he be staying alone? If he's not married, what about the relatives? Why is, like, guys, all I can say is that BT better watch it because free stuff, eh? It comes with a lot of uh, wahala. It comes with a lot of problem mm, that you have to deal with. Come and see his anxiety. Let me allow you guys to watch because mm, I don't understand. If you fail to plan, you will plan to fail. This is the truth. Before he even went there, he's supposed to have arranged his place. You are not supposed to randomly be looking for accommodation like this when you knew quite well. Your visa is at hand. You got your ticket. You got your date. You decided to keep quiet so that people will not know where you are going. This is freaking crazy. I don't know who is advising this guy. Honestly speaking, let's watch him. out here like panic he wanted to actually jump out of that flat thinking that there was fire outbreak or something meanwhile baba did not even tell him that probably this came from pressure cooker it sounds as if grandpa was cooking with a pressure cooker so once the noise came bt did not understand and the guy rushed to the kitchen but didn't tell him and he was looking to see if there was actual fire oh my goodness I'm happy that he got a place, but he could have done better to arrange a better place, you know. And this guy being nice to him, made food, made him comfortable, and all that, and all that. He can still tell that he didn't fit in, you know, being there, somehow, somehow. That's why he mentioned that he, he can't wait to move to other location. Of course, he needs to also move, because staying in the will be boring to... He needs years. to show India. He's, he freaking needs to show us around India. That's basically what I want to say. Guys, let's move to the next backpacker. Sharp, 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 sharp. There's no time to waste time. The Mwango. Hey, the Mwango lost her drone. Whether she's supposed to fly it in certain location or not, whether she has the license to do it whether it was confiscated lost i don't understand and her audience are not even smiling because she came and she was begging and this person only it. lost her drone she lost her mind expecting people to buy her another one exactly i know the feeling to lose something but why must you there and there be expecting you just lost it and you're already activating donation like coming out Hey, who does that? Like, seriously. You lost it. Then you want your audience to replace it. There and there. I don't get it, guys. They are starting again. Begging. And you will hear her brother in the village saying, I don't want these people to beg. I don't want them to go and bring old people and be back. if there's no donation tomorrow? What are they going to do? They, 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 they. I don't want to support anybody. So what is your sister doing here, Ogamarawa? Is she not begging? Guys, let's move ahead, 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 ahead. Who else do we have here? Check in effect is in Nairobi. 
Kenya. Hey, making it big time. You look at checking effect in Nairobi and look at our baby girl, Coco Girl, in Cape Town. Coco Girl dropped a video a few days ago saying that she was gonna travel from Cape Town down to Johannesburg. Come and hear her. Something that we know already. Will I say that something that it's not even like something that we know already because we always say it. It doesn't matter how safe a city is. It doesn't matter how safe a country is. You still got to take precautions. You still got to be aware of your environment. You still got to protect yourself. You still got to ask around, what do I expect to do here? Where am I? Am I supposed to go to this location? At what time and all that? You still got to take care of your things, no matter how safe that country is. You will not say, oh, Doha is really safe. You carry your latest iPhone and drop it anyhow and expect that people will not pick it. Some will pick it actually and return it. It can happen like that anywhere. There are good and bad people everywhere. But I just love the positivity that this guy carries, especially the way he is showcasing Africa. He goes to the slum. He has been to Makoko, okay? But when he got there, what kind of content did he take out from there? He mingled with people. He went to their church, went to the mosque, ate the food, you know, mingled, spoke to them, met the local guys there, didn't judge them. That's one thing with checking. These other people, they will really make you feel like they have a mission coming to they Africa. They really make you feel oh, like they must go and dig this stuff about Africa because someone sent them or this is what people want to see we are tired of uh, all these things honestly speaking because Coco girl again was saying oh i'm going to the most dangerous city in south africa johannesburg it's not true even cape town you can be robbed anywhere you can be robbed in devon you can be robbed in cape town so i don't know who is feeding she was but... moving around Coco girl was moving ar around with knife interviewing people making it so clear you when you have such weapon it's not something you should display on camera coco girl it's for your protection not for your audience protection it's not for all of us to see because it doesn't make sense you are the one that will freaking protect yourself if somebody comes to attack you not us and you don't need to let the whole world because now you are letting people know that oh you are moving around with this knife she was even telling these other guys that they were lying. She asked someone, do you have a knife? Do you have a weapon? And the person was like, no, no. And Coco Girl was like, you are lying. Check in effect. Hey, I cannot believe it. I said, is this Nairobi? Come and see vlog. This is what we want to see. The bad side, the dark side, we all have it. We are tired of hearing this dark side. Oh, dark side. Oh, the most dangerous city in this. Oh, they will rob you. Oh, they will steal from you. Oh, we are tired. Give us some good content that will not make us feel bad. Or oh, somebody who has already bought her ticket, wanting to come to Nairobi, seeing your content will be like, oh, I'm changing my mind. Oh, I can't go to Johannesburg because Coco Girl said that Johannesburg is the most dangerous city. Hey, let's watch checking effects in Nairobi, Kenya. Killing it. location as you can see i'm walking and it's pretty cool chill location no one is uh it's pretty safe cool and it's nice this part right here is not even the nice part man. this is average they have places that look even better than this but I, all right guys i know i say it's safe but this is the part where i'm gonna cut the camera off <laughs> So they call you this CBD, which is Central business, business District. That's what this is. Nice location. Nobody's gonna hurt you. 
You see how I'm moving around the street. Look at how clean the city is. Look at how calm the city is. Nobody's gonna collect your phone from you. See me, I'm vlogging with my GoPro camera. Nobody's gonna collect it. When he went to the other side, in a very nice, like a joke, he said, hey, I know I told you people that Nairobi is safe, but you see this one, I need to freak it. You have to know where to go, when to go, and where not to go, and what to do when you go there. If you look at Coco Girl, Coco Girl is not even... Coco Girl doesn't give F about her environment. Look at the kind of people that she mingles around with. Guys, I thought I have seen it all. Ever since Coco Girl went to Cape Town, I'm asking myself, Coco Girl, do you have a case study on the homeless guys? Because, <laughs> again, every day, you know, last time she celebrated her birthday, I was like, I came here, I was like, Coco Girl, kudos, way to go. At least you remember someone who is homeless, who might may have been starving and not having proper meal. At least you decided to put a smile on his face, protected him, defended him when the shopkeeper abused him. Kinda, kinda. Okay? You did all that, had lunch with him, made him feel happy and belonged. You did all that. But when you... <laughs> my, my dear... <laughs> you guys should leave me alone. It's becoming too much. Too much of everything is bad. <laughs> When it's habitual like this, you begin to ask yourself, Coco, is this why you traveled all the way to South Africa to just hang around the streets with uh, a lot of uh, homeless guys and them begging you and you telling them, no, 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 I have to say no. The other day I ate with you. I cannot do it every day now. Uh, oh, guys, they are begging me to eat, but I cannot eat with them every day. Coco girl, I'm happy that she's finally moving out because each time I click to watch, I'm still seeing almost like same old, same old, same old, which I don't understand. And Coco Girl, don't get me wrong, there's no city that you will not find bad people. So, having a knife, yes, I don't know who fed her. With, well, I, guys, I lived in Johannesburg, okay? Joe Beg is very, very busy. It's a very crowded, that's where you get more foreigners, more than even Cape Town, Devon, and other cities kwazulu natal like if you go to kwazulu natal you will not that they don't have foreigners there but they are in large numbers in Joburg. very populous like that like so many foreigners so what do you expect you got to shine your eyes just like when you arrive in lagos they don't tell you welcome to lagos it says this is lagos it means you need to be alert <laughs> anything can happen anytime so don't be showing people that you have this weapon to protect yourself because your bag is not safe. It's for your protection, not for us to see. And not for you to check, do you have, oh, you're lying. Everybody got this. Everybody got it. If you mistakenly abuse someone or accuse someone or threaten someone with it, you're going to get into trouble. That's another thing. So you should know when you are really in danger. Or when you are just freaking out or panicking for nothing. Guys, let's watch Coco Girl because <laughs> her own again, I don't understand. But before we watch Coco Girl, let me talk about this checking effect in Nairobi. I love his positive spirit. I love how he sees good in every country that he has visited. Not that he's not experiencing bad stuff happening in all these, especially African or would I say third world countries. Of course, every country has their own challenge. But he's not focusing on that. That's the way it should be. It's really irritating when you see all these travel vloggers. They know quite well that they are actually going to take advantage of all these people. You know, film them, show their vulnerable moments, film their environment without getting proper permission. Okay? They know that they are, do, they are already doing too much. They know that they are already gaining with the system and everything. And they're still going to portray them like in a bad way or in a negative way. We should be fearing God. Did you see the girls shooting their shots? Hey, as soon as checking effects, met these Kenyan girls. 
and was like, where did you buy that plate of food? It looks nice. How much is it? And the girl said, 300. All of them, like, they were giving him freaking attention. There's another biggie, biggie one sitting by the side. That one actually told check in effect. I'm here. Please come back. Yes. I'm waiting for you. Are you coming back? Okay. Like Shadova ended in your house. You guys should leave me alone. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not complaining. But if you make yourself a fish, rat will eat you. And when rat eats you, the rat will eat you, jaka, 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 and leave you like that because you made yourself a fish. Why am I saying this? If you are making a move on black dude, Africa, check in effect, is even American. Let me even not say that. He's not, I'm not going to say it in a bad way that, oh, he's not African. But what I mean is, these are other Africans, <laughs> you're going to make move towards them, show interest, because so you can see this guy looking all fresh and looking all yummy. Eh? <laughs> it will end there, especially this was, I'm not going to call check in effect the passport brother, but if you know, you know. Travel vloggers, they are also passport brothers. Go and ask Diana Kemi where BT is now he has moved on i'm not expecting him to be talking about diana and again BT, when he left to india okay i'm looking at this thumbnail he heard diana okay then why covering diana's face you should allow us to see how she felt bad that you were leaving her why covering her face with emoji this BT guy is not romantic at all guys i'm even happy i hope Diana, guys, we have another one. Diana came in, met with Mickey Mickey, okay? <laughs> I said, oh, this one, I hope this one will not come and spoil our Diana. Because you know that our Diana is still very, very smart, intelligent, and but not naughty like Mickey Mickey. Mickey. Because Mickey Mickey, if you still believe that Mickey Mickey is a nursing student by now, <laughs> you are on your own. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. On a serious note, I don't know what... <laughs> Lazy people, you guys should leave me alone. If you believe that Mickey Mickey is a nursing student, I don't know what to tell you. Mickey Mickey has been busy. Mickey Mickey bid farewell to her mom. Oh, mom, I'm gonna miss you. Guys, I'm going back to school. As we are talking, Mickey Mickey is all over, like collaborating with girls, boys. Mickey Mickey is busy. Hey, this me to Junior, I met to Junior, is even claiming now they are doing couple thing i don't understand v is not our mate of course you know me to uh, me to junior a new gang member to the magic case okay mm. he just joined the magic group oh she finally said yes i said again of course he has learned this one from my guys will not kill me the way they are doing their content anyway mickey mickey did stuff with diana kimmy diana kimmy was saying some stuff about what she has learned, you know, being with BT. We're gonna shook our mouth on that one before we call it a day. I don't want this video to be two hours. <laughs> you guys believe me. <laughs> I don't want to do it. Guys, at least Coco Mama is coming here every 48 hours. In it, in it. You guys, you guys should leave me alone. Eh? So many stuff. I mean, if I don't have content here, I'll probably talk one or two stuff and we move probably i'm i'm even ready to drop 15 minutes video here but when i look around all these our niches they are doing too much so why will coco mama not do too much also if they are doing too much coco mama freaking be doing too much in front of you you guys are also doing too much in the comment section so let all of us be running this show while we are waiting to move to facebook if you have not liked my page on facebook please do so that once you search for this channel and you don't see it you will not be like where is coco mama has she decided to delete i didn't delete though the people that owns the channel they have collected it so what you will need is you just move to facebook we move we'll continue there hey they will be enjoying this marawa uh, content on facebook i bet you eh? our family will even extend <laughs> that is where the reaction will be nice like nicely that time uh, coco mama will be more aggressive <laughs> You know, I am funny, funnishly. Which kind of English is this one? Coco Mama, respect yourself. Which one is funnishly? I am aggressive in a funny way, in a comic way. Mm? Mm? 
Once YT carried this our channel, you guys will see me. My aggressiveness then, eh? This my eyes will be at my back. Hmm. And this my mouth. Hmm. With this my cow face. That is when they will see another type. Another type of Coco Mama. Guys, have we watched Coco Girl? Let's watch Coco Girl then. We'll end it with uh, BT with uh, the Diana Kemi and Mickey Mickey. Let's watch Coco Girl, guys. I'm going tomorrow to Johannesburg. Johannesburg. So need I need this. Oh, now Johannesburg, <laughs> you're gonna need a gun. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't have knife. You lie to me, brother. You lie to me now. You lie to me in the. You lie to me in the middle of the day, huh? Everybody carries something. Yeah. Guys, in this life, if you see someone that's down, you pick him up. We help each other in life. So pick him. No. Pick him. <laughs> I don't understand. I need to pretend that I have like a. A dreadlocks. Yeah. And then they will not fuck with me? They will not touch you because... Because what? I don't understand. The Rastafarian women are very much respected. <laughs> Hello. Hello. You see me, yeah? Hey. Hello. Hey. Yeah, in that day. Ah, this is the ATM machine. So, <laughs> he told him to go. There is rule in the street. What? Yeah, I was here with my friend. Yeah. Father, I was so drunk in that day. I was so drunk in that day. Mm. You need to say no sometimes. It's part of it. Look at that. Look how you look like. You make a lot of noise, brother. A lot of noise. I cannot go with you like that. A lot of noise. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> we love you as you are. So I'm going to take a Brian to eat with me. Um, Nice food. There is some restaurant that I like. I like there. I already take. I took him also to eat. In the first day I was here, and now he tell me. He tell me to take him to to eat, and I tell him no, and it's difficult for me. But I cannot take everyone to eat. I cannot take everyone to eat. I will stay without money. I need money, you know. And I even don't get money from now from YouTube. My video is not so good. Yeah. Subscribe, share, help me. This is South Africa. Every two minutes, uh, someone will ask from you money. There is a lot of homeless in the street. Personally, it's difficult to, to see that emotion. It's make me to be emotional. I'm fucking freezing. Oof, it's cold. You know, when you are repeatedly doing the same thing, of course, it's gonna freaking affect the views. Especially for them, because for travel vloggers, they must go to different scenes, show exciting places, you know, show eye-catching stuff, not like repeating the same thing, the same environment, going to the same restaurant, or oh, I've been to this restaurant, or oh, I've eaten again with this guy, or oh, I ate with him last week, or oh, the same street, same old, same old, same old. What do you expect? It's going to affect the views. It's like that. It's just like what we are telling Michael Aponte. Move. He refused to move. Anyway, guys, let's call it a day with Diana Kemi with baby girl Mickey Mickey. Mm. Our nursing students. You communicate, you get to correct so many things. And another one, forgiveness. There is a, a time when there will be always fights or quarrels or, you know, something that you, mm -hmm. you fight over. But when you forgive one another, at least it, it continues moving. Yeah, moving. No, yeah. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's so perfect. have to understand each other, right? Yeah. yeah, for sure. Even I believe for those people who have maybe been in relationship for so long, what has kept them moving is also forgiveness. If if you don't forgive the other, you, you think maybe, ah, this one is not perfect because he or she has made this mistake. Mm -hmm it will be difficult for you again to you know come back and continue but when you forgive you just assume oh you correct it yeah and it continue moving on that's how even our parents are very sure are 
But doing you know, things. there are always these people, even if you forgive them, mm -hmm. they keep on re re yes. repeating. Yes. Okay, yes. that one is another yes. problem. Divine. So, yes, forgiveness is really, really important. But you don't keep, like what Mickey said, you don't keep forgiving and this person is doing the same thing. Tomorrow, it's going to ask you to forgive. And when it's habitual like that, you freaking need to move. You freaking need to find your way. <laughs> it's no longer a mistake, okay? Mm. One time, yes, it's a mistake. When it happens second time, it's intentional. It's as simple as that. So this girl was saying that oh, communication is really, really important. Looking at her and what they have shared here in front of us, you know, her relationship. Mickey Mickey was asking her, being in a relationship with BT, Burundi Traveler, what have you learned? She was saying, oh, communication and then forgiveness. You communicate, you learn a lot about each other, what this person likes, or did they really communicate? Eh? And I don't know whether Mickey Mickey was being sarcastic by saying, oh, I want a guy like BT. I need a boyfriend like BT. Eh? I don't get it. Does BT look like someone that we should uh, emulate and be like, oh, this BT should be like a role model to all these young girls? No. I wouldn't say that he's a bad guy. I wouldn't say that um, he didn't take care of Diana. Probably they did some stuff helping each other here and there. That's not what I'm talking about. But when it comes to this, their ship, he didn't define it. That's why I'm even happy that he has kind of, kind of moved on. By the time he's finished in India, we will understand Diana better. We'll see if Diana will reset her mindset and find something doing for herself. Because if you are with someone who cannot boldly come out and say, this is my girlfriend. Eh? Oga Erondante took them out and asked Beatty, who is this? This guy cannot say that Diana Kenny is his girlfriend. Just fear men like that. So many men. Yes, you guys know what I'm talking about. Most of you guys may have experienced this in the past. You understand? Any guy that you are with that cannot boldly come out Forget about social media. Maybe in the family, maybe in our family, maybe there's a gathering function. He's always hiding, like publicly. He cannot be bold to say that, oh, I'm with this person. But inside, in a dark room, he's finishing you, knocking you up and down, eh? Asking you to, even, even, even commanding you and asking you to position it like this. Like, but when he's outside, he's keeping his distance. He's giving you social distancing. He don't want to identify you as anybody. Eh? Fear, that kind of stuff. It can happen to a guy as well. Fear any lady that wants you in secret only, but cannot come out and say, oh, this person is my man. This person is my boyfriend. This person, I'm, I came with him. This is, this is us. Always hiding you. Eh? Even when asked, like, I can understand if nobody asks who is this person to you, I can understand. But when asked, you cannot open your mouth. What kind of communication is that one? I feel like Diana actually threw herself, was rubbing herself on this guy. That's how I see it. That's why she's feeling like BT is something. Like, well, it's them. It's their relationship. It's their everything. For us here, we are just keeping it real. For us here, we are just observing and bringing it to you guys. You guys should leave me alone. Leave me alone in my small corner. I don't you guys should freaking leave me alone. Leave me alone in my small corner. I don't wanna, I don't wanna. Lazy people everywhere. If you watch till this moment, you know who you are. You are the best. You are the bestest. Thank you for your likes, your comment. Thank you for all you do. For Coco Mama, I love and appreciate you all from the bottom of my heart. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe check if you are subscribed join the family and uh, let's get this ministry to the next level mm? bring someone to the top to a friend to a friend to a friend of our coco mama i'll see you in my another one peace out peace out peace out bye 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 guys slow i put it on me no you like that she my brother we gonna live forever money island to the mainland pulling up in the beamer